Oh, the horror, the horror, the eldritch horror. Yes, today we're going to play some modded RimWorld Alpha 16 using the Call of Cthulhu mod system, or whatever you want to call it. It's several mods all packaged into one sort of thing. So we've got the Cults pack, the Realistic Darkness pack, the HP Lovecraft Storyteller, some Industrial Age objects, factions and cosmic horrors. And it's all about you being able to establish a cult and running away from scary monsters in the dark. So let's get going. We're going to start a new colony using my slightly boosted basic scenario. So we've got a bit of boring old research already given to us so we can get on with the cult stuff. And um, we're going to use oh, we're going to use uh, the HP Lovecraft one. So we'll go for some challenge. No, we won't. We'll go for rough. Uh, yes. Let's have some real ass horror. So this is going to be a reasonable, it's not going to be like a full on like 20 part series or anything, but we're going to give it a go just to really explore the mod and see how it all ticks over. So I'll just get this out of the way um, and then we shall continue. Okay, so I've chosen a spot somewhere in the middle of the planet. If you notice, there are some weird and um, different kinds of factions in this because of one of the mods, the, um, the, the Call of Cthulhu factions mod. So we'll maybe ho hopefully able to visit some, although don't bank on us getting anywhere near caravans. Um, we shall see. Uh, let's choose that. And we shall choose a few colonists. Ah, uh, right. Let's call her Spooky. <laughs> oh. uh, we should call Nathan Evil Hair. Because, seriously. <laughs> and we've got an assassin. Ooh, let's call her Spooky Assassin. Um, shit. Oh, it's Shewit. No. <laughs> uh, well, it's Shewit. It'll do. And we've landed. Uh, first thing to notice, uh, the um, the lighting is a bit peculiar because of the the, the realistic darkness thing we've um, sorted out for ourselves. So we'll just do the usual starting stuff, and we shall build ourselves all the usual things. Uh, this is quite a woody place, so we shall start by assigning some chopperoos. Let's do it over here. There's some plenty of wood there, and that looks like a good space. So let's start by building some stuff out of wood, as per usual. And let's build, well, stockpile. We shall build a little guarded stockpile here. And with a door there, 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 and there. Zone it off. That can be the generic one. We'll also have a big fat dump somewhere. And we're, well, there, because there's already lots of stuff there. Uh, okay, so... Oh, it's already, it's already uh, pleasantly and um, bright out now. So, because of the realistic darkness, and when it is actually midnight, you won't be able to see unless there is actually some light. So we're going to have to be very careful that we don't end up fucking ourselves over like morons. Uh, right, okay, so, so far, so straightforward. I really should have actually um, planned ahead a bit more than that, than this. Just, literally just settle where I fell. But never mind. Okay, so spooky evil hair and shoo it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm all taking care of business. Not really doing much at the moment. He's wandering. Let's have a look at our work orders. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So only shoo it is going to be able to do any plant cutting. And also constructing. That ain't great. Well, one of you is going to have to help out. By the looks of it, spooky is a bit piss. So you may as well learn how to do some construction. We will have to do research. That's quite a major thing, apparently. Uh, research? Unless you build a research bench, bloody blump. Oh my good bloody god. This is a mess. <laughs> uh, so all these occult ones are the ones that we're going to have to do. Um, I have given myself, because this is a, like the boosted scenario, I have given myself all the kind of the basic researches, so we'd have to waste time doing that. I didn't bother with the booze, admittedly, because I was lazy. But let's have a look. Um, do these have any prerequisites? Decipher strange symbols. That's the one we need to do. Require Forbidden Knowledge Center. Oh, we're going to have to do some... Okay, this is going to be a bit... Uh, hmm, there's going to be a bit more stuff than I thought. Production. No. Uh, well, we'll start with the research bench and then we'll see, see how it goes from there. For now, I just need to whip up the usual um, places. I need some, some bedrooms and a production room. Okay, I've set everyone their tasks. Got myself four rooms, just in case anyone else turns up. Lots of um, furniture going on in here, and they're just going to have to sort themselves out for a bit. 
And I've got myself some growth zones. Um, look at this, though. Look at the furniture. And we've got um, all this um, industrial age stuff. Um, we, we haven't got very much for now. But we're going to have to have some lighting at some point outside. Um, it does need well, pre-installed gas pipes to fuel an automated flame. Uh, so presumably that's fine, and we don't actually need any bonus fuel for that. At the moment I've just got basic torches on the go, because I suspect we won't be able to build these for a while until we've mined out some steel and components. Although we do start with some in this scenario, so that's something at least. But I don't really want to worry about that too much until we've got the basics sorted. Was that Frank? No, it's not. It's Floyd. Ah, he's fine. He won't kill us. Yet. <laughs> it's the biggest eldritch horror of them all! A small cat! And we should actually get some food. We've actually got a reasonable... Actually, we've got no food at all, have we? Huh. I will have to start hunting, I think. Well, there's some, some good basic stuff flapping about the place, so let's just do that. In fact, I've only got three people, though, so... I'm actually going to make people hunt when they probably shouldn't really be doing so at the moment. Oh, well, that was good, some good shooting. Well done, shoo it. You're good at shoe eating apparently. Um, actually, eight. Eight out of twenty. Not bad. Oh, someone else is helping. Spooky is firing her spooky assault rifle, or what the hell it is. As it's a survival rifle. I do beg your pardon. So what are you doing, shoe it? You're buggering off. I am building a butcher's table, but apparently not yet. Um, hmm. Fueled stove? We'll actually have to do this. Cook simple meal. We'll do it until we have 20, I think. Shit, okay, so it's now going to be night time. So, it remains to be seen um, what the darkness is going to be like. I think it's going to be fairly horrific. Evil hair has <laughs> has already got her, um, or his or her hair down um, on, the, on bed. <laughs> that sentence is going nowhere. Oh, it is actually a bloke. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, I think it would be nice if people actually came indoors, although there isn't really an indoors yet, is there? People are going to get a bit pissy for a while. I mean, already their moods are going low. This is going to be a dark old night. Possibly stormy as well. Actually, no, it's not going to be stormy. It's going to be clear for a while. I don't know how H.P. Lovecraft's Storyteller works, because it's no longer going to be Cassandra, so it doesn't start off nice and easy and get harder and harder. But maybe it does, I don't know yet. And um, We shall have to see. Um, Shewitt is, by the looks of it, doing something um, to do with building. Although I can't bloody see! Something's happening. Um, evil hair trying to sleep, but <laughs> meanwhile the other colonists building the room around him. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I uh, hope, hope people go to bed soon, because frankly I can't see a thing. We will need to have a lot more lighting come the next day. So, a spooky old night coming towards morning. There's actually shitloads of new stuff which I've been looking at um, in the... Um, in the production stuff and all that. Look, there's a furnace, um, a refrigerator, bizarrely, a forbidden knowledge centre, which is something that we're going to probably go on to quite soon, um, and a few other things as well, like there's a gramophone and a radio, um, and yeah, all manner of things really. All very Lovecraftian. So, the planting is continuing, and we will need to start building a lot of stuff in this one. I think we've, I think it's just, we, we're just really waiting for um, people to chop down wood. I think I should probably have not... Oh, actually, look at that! There's some more survival meals over there. Let's grab them. Because we will need some food, um, inevitably. They're currently eating straight off the ground. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be building a table and chairs. Pretty much now, actually. Which, which is good to see. Uh, okay, so what do we... Um, what else do we need to build? Uh, we've got ourselves a butcher's table and a stove. Um, and... What else do we need to do? Do we need some power yet? I don't know. I kind of like want to see what the gas lamp looks like, so I'm going to build this just outside there. Um, do oh, bloody hell, that was fast. <laughs> oh, hello. What's that? Um, it's a uh, mega sloth. Or oh, sloth. Ah, it's fine, whatever. Dead turkey. Always good to see. I could do with making more of these lamps, actually. They, 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 look, they were quick to build. Let's build one there. And one there. Already? Yeah, they're really getting to it. There we go! Oh, this is a bit more atmospheric. These daytimes seem quite small. I mean, it's, it was only five seconds ago that it was dark last time. This is like the evil twilight. Okay, so let's build that forbidden knowledge centre. I think I can do this now. 
st people are still not building the lights indoors yet. Did I even build one inside there? I can't even see anymore. Um, furniture. Let's build a basic torch. Oh, so literally, I already put one just there. All right. Well, can we do that yet? We can't. We need the materials. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Foggy rain. Spooky foggy rain, etc, <laughs> etc. Et and one benefit from this um, perpetual darkness is that you can actually find all this stuff, all these X's, all this crash lander stuff, really easily. Anything else? Can't see anything? Oh, there's something. And it's slate wall. <laughs> Packaged survival meal. And some more steel. Huh. Most convenient. Probably missed something, but... Right. Oh god, I can't even see- I want to be able to uh, designate some che trees to chop down, but I can't see any. So this will be fairly slow going, because I've just had, a, had another look at the work orders. And Shewitt is the only one that can do quite a few things, like plant cut, haul, and clean. I need a lot of things hauled, but I need a lot of plants cut as well. So, I don't know really, I want to get rid of all these rocks, which is uglifying the place up. But I really need the wood to build stuff. Uh, meanwhile, Spooky is a bit crap. Uh, well, he or she, I haven't actually worked it out yet, um, can at least do some construction. It's a woman. <laughs> um, but you know, that's pretty much the only useful thing apart from hunting. We could make a hunt, because then we can get some stuff to butcher and eat. You! A rat. That'll keep us going. That's dead. There's no one to haul anything. Oh, god damn it. Maybe if we just... No, I don't know. There we go, shoo it. Oh, good shot. You are a good shot. Who's a good shot? <laughs> uh, oh, look, the little building there. Huh. Right. Still rain. Still foggy raining. I feel, I feel this is going to be a, a thing, isn't it? This is going to be a, a foggy rain scenario. Where shoo it is just... Oh, shoo it is dumping the... Oh, right, okay, dumping the corpses there. Well, if we could just bloody well get our uh, production stations going, that would be handy. But, where's everyone gone? Oh, Spooky's over there, hunting. Evil Hair's doing some planting. That's not the most interesting, important thing at the moment, really. Uh, what else can you do, Evil Hair? You can, you can art, and you can research. Okay, let's get some research going there. I think that might be one of about five different priorities I have at the moment. Simple research bench. I really should have made a bigger bloody room here, shouldn't I? Oh well, this is have to be kind of, we'll have to slot this in. Kind of there ish, I think. Still outdoors. And we will need to make that bloody where is it? God damn it, now where's it gone? Uh, Misk, I think it was under. For the Forbidden Knowledge Center. In fact, I might actually expand things a little more. Um yeah, I'll we'll do it down here. This is low priority, I guess. Uh, that can be for later, when we've got more stuff going on. But that's where things, other, more things are going to happen. I might take down this wall, actually. Um, but that seems like... Oh god, look, finally! This room is now going to be the uh, the indoors room. Where's the torch gone? Wasn't there a torch in there? Oh no, apparently it's there instead. At least the construction's actually happening now. Although you could... Are you going to do anything? Maybe I should um, prioritise the research bench. Come on, show it. Cannot. Oh, we still have any bloody words? Which is okay, because you're do at least you're doing something useful. Spooky. Cutting the oak tree. That's not really that useful. God damn it. Get some wood. Need some wood. It's going to speed things up a bit. Uh, maybe, I should, maybe I should concentrate on the beds, though. Oh, everything needs concentrating on. And I haven't got any wood again. God damn it. Uh, just what we need. Shuit is wandering around in sadness. So, Shuit, um, he's not going to be able to do anything for a short time. Thankfully, that's the least harmful uh, mental break you can actually have. Uh, <laughs> at least not like attacking other people or whatever. But that's the last thing we need right now. Now, well, this has kind of like crippled our productivity completely, because of course, Shuit is the one that can do the and plant cutting. Nobody else can. So we really are stuck for something to do at the moment. However, there are some visitors on their way with some items to trade. And they haven't quite turned up just yet, so let's just speed things up a bit. 
Where are they? Oh, that's spooky. Spooky of, of set hunting stuff. Where are these traders? Oh, there they are. I'm just a long way out. Everyone will probably go to bed by the time they get here. Uh, that's okay. They're still, they're, people are still going. Evil hair. Who is the most social? Actually, it's probably, it probably actually is. Oh no! Spooky is very social. So let's go and trade. Hopefully the, that'll bring the prices down. If you can actually see the damn thing. Uh, why? Right, what do we need? Um, yeah, don't really need medicine at the time for the time being. Cloth, cloth police hat brackets. Remove this. <laughs> no, let's have it. I'm having it. Uh, and nothing else though, particularly components. So we can that's for us to sell. There really isn't much of anything, really, is there? I might get a spot of food. Just a spot. Yeah. That's pretty much all we can really do with those traders. Sure, it's finally come out of his bloody sad wander, which lasted several in-game days, I'm sure of it. So, we m he may actually... actually... Oh, he's gone to sleep now. Mmm... A spooky has begun obsessively writing pages of strange symbols. Okay, so that's new. Ah, I don't know what this is gonna um happen. What, what, what what's this gonna do? Also, do some work. Damn it! <laughs> At least shoe it's fine now. Lads, the fuck did that come from? Lads is a monolith. <laughs> There's always a monolith. Uh, well, fine. What do we mute? Stops, starts the ambient noise. Can I hear anything? I don't know. Well, I'll leave that for now. Monolith? Monolith! Monolith! I don't know. So Spooky... Oh, Spooky's just writing in a frenzy. Just stood, stood in the doorway. I really wish I got more colonists, frankly. <laughs> I've no idea where Shoe it is. Where are you? Oh, you've gone mining! Oh, that's the least important thing we need to do right now. Stop it. What's happened now? Spooky has no memory of the writing that is still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labours. It is a ghastly book filled with a strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous-looking diagrams of ritual sacrifices and spells within the tome has some colonists unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research centre. Good. All right. Stop mining. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Somebody else. Evil hair, you're crap. You do some... You can do some mining when you feel like it. Um, spooky, you can do the research. Since you're all about the strange occult writing. Well, there it is. Look, there's the... Oh, that's what we need f to build the thing which I haven't actually started building. Uh, the Forbidden Knowledge Centre. Because that requires one grimoire... Um, a big book, plus also some other stuff as well. Right, okay, so uh, shoo it, you get busy chopping wood. Uh, look at, luckily your mood has improved vastly. I could also do with building a joy box. Let's make it a gramophone. Oh, look at that, it's got a radius. What about a radio? Pretty much the same. Right, okay, so let's make the gramophone be in here, I guess. Where can I put it? And um, Let's put it... Uh, might want to put a bench or something there, so let's put this... Let's put it there, so you can sit on it and eat off it if you really want. Ah, so the mod is now starting to reveal itself, slowly but surely. There's also a spot there, which is interesting. Maybe they'll go and worship it at some point. W worship, whatever the word is. Um, I also want someone to put a, a police hat on, um, which is apparently not supposed to be in the mod, but hee <laughs> uh, Okay, let's just finish off this bloody building now, because this is getting ridiculous. Come on, show it. Do your business. Oh, here's a pisser. Now Spooky's wandering around in a psychotic state. And this is because of the mod, though. This is a mod thing, not um, just bad, shitty luck. Um, uh, the final straw was acquired occult grimoire. How do you, do, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> oh, let's just call it Big Buck and be done with it. Hunt the rat. So we still haven't built the bloody butcher's table. Um, Spooky can't do anything. Spooky is our, const well, our only constructor at the moment, because I don't want Shuit doing anything but chop wood. However, Evil Hair could always do some building. 
wherever the hell evil hair is. Doing some hauling. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's some. I'm going to allow this. But then you can start building things. Deal. Oh, here's some good news. Um, we've got another bloke. Um, possibly a bloke. Actually, she, she is a stiletto assassin. What the fuck? <laughs> what? A stiletto assassin? Um. All right. Well, look at look at look at her fighting skills. Uh. Let's call her Nikita. <laughs> a nice bit of assassin lore there for the lads. Um, so you're good at killing. That's good. Which means that you should have the pistol, I guess? Although there's plenty of it. Well, nah, whatever. So you're going to do some plant cutting. Hooray! Um, Nikita is going to really help out because you're going to be able to haul and plant cut. That's actually going to be incredibly useful. We won't make you a hunter. Although you're bloody good at it, so maybe, maybe so. Um, Spooky's actually very good at it. In fact, everyone's really good hunter, apart from evil hair. So, plant cut, probably the most important thing. Hauling, we don't really need any hauling done, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, everything else, fine. Okay, that's good. That we've, we've doubled our capacity for getting wood now, which is um, rather handy. Whilst my back was turned, they built the research bench. So, let's actually get on with the research. Human sacrifice, no. So, forbidden knowledge centre. Oh, okay, so we need to presumably decipher strange symbols. Have we already done that? No, I don't think we have. So, okay. Can I actually do any of this? Oh, that's that's go juice. That's nothing to do with the, the mod at all. I might actually need to build that. Oh, yeah, fine, that's it. Yeah, the, the, the research bench before we do anything else. So this is nothing to do with... Okay, so we can do different sorts. Of, we can do normal research and that sort of research simultaneously. Well, we don't want to really... Um, clog up people's um, to-do list. So let's wait until the actual bench is built, which is happening somewhere. There it is. Oh god, look at the, the bloody foggy rain darkness again. There's a lot... Actually, there is some things that do need to be hauled by the looks of it. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that, I'm sure. So good news, um, the bench is now complete. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the building is not. But let's have a look. The forbidden research. Well, there's not really much I can do with it, is there? I've got to. I've actually got to do it from the research thing. So now, finally, things are green. Decipher strange symbols. Yeah, let's go for that. So that's now going to be researched there. We have loads of people. Well, everyone's going to do some research, but I suspect it might be spooky who ends up doing it once she's out of her silly little days. She ever gets out of that bloody thing with her with her silly punk rock hair. Okay, so that's the res since the research thing is now going to be ongoing, um, I am going to um, bring this episode to an end, but I think, I suspect I might need to claim this, so I'm going to try doing that. I think I've already, oh, that's, that's basically it. So we've now claimed the monolith, which means I could reinstall it. I'm going to reinstall it somewhere. Let's make it right outside. Yes! Well, finally, we are finishing that off. Oh, Spooky has collapsed due to extreme ex exhaustion, due to a silly daze. Hang on, better take care of that, wherever she is. Where is she? There she is. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, that's fine, I'm going to allow it. Uh, okay, so as they as they finish off the building, uh, we, we'll pick this up again next time, so subscribe for future episodes of this uh, modded RimWorld series, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.